And via telephone, the Berkeley County Clerk, Tony Petrucci, with some early voter totals from yesterday and the uh, cumulative totals uh, to this point. Tony, good morning. Thanks again for calling. Good morning, uh, Rob. Appreciate you having me on again. And uh, tomorrow, yesterday was a another productive day here in Berkeley County with early voting. We had 2,861 voters. Uh, Beddington at uh, 1,061, and when I say Beddington, it's the early voting location, Beddington, Ruritan. Uh, the Dunn building right here, we had 876, and the Pikeside uh, substation and Pikeside, uh, 924, uh, bringing a total so far of 19,284, not, not counting the absentees, which is 1,709, which will be implemented into that uh, process uh, as, you know, on Election Day. So we've got about 21% of our 94,000 registered voters that has voted. And you have today, tomorrow, and Saturday yet remaining to early vote. Yes, sir. Today, tomorrow. Has the Beddington location, I don't know if you've broken this down by location or not, but it seems like the Beddington location seems to have the most. Yes. Yes, we'll we'll have a total... I can break that down at the end of everything, uh, you know, where what Buddington did, what the Dunn building did, and what uh, Pikeside did, yeah. And, and But by just giving you the numbers daily, it has been Buddington leading the way, and even in the primaries, it was the same way. So it seems like that area there is is the hot ticket uh-huh. um, for voting. So and that's what we really wanted. We wanted to take a, lo- a little bit of the the heat away from this building here, um, and it looks like it's working. This building here is the Dunn Building, Tony? The Dunn Building, yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are the daily totals staying pretty constant? Yeah, yeah. Just, for instance, yesterday, I mean, I don't know if you wrote, uh, wrote down what I told you just a second ago, but um, Beddington was 1019, and yesterday, on Wednesday, they were 1061. Dunn Building on Tuesday was 907. Uh, Wednesday they were 876, and Pikeside 1005 on Tuesday, and yesterday was 924, and that's and it's been that way th- just about throughout the whole 10 um, day period. You know, uh, fairly close, um, but Beddington is definitely the the uh, apple of our eye right now. Mm-hmm. But the, the Dunn Building is doing good and. Bike side's really come along, you know, from from the um, primary. It was a little weak, but uh, I think it was just a uh, little bit more advertising we did. Yeah, and they're already talking about another place, uh, some, some of the county commissioners and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Well, have your pocketbook ready, brother. We'll do anything for you, but you got to have the money. <laughs> got to pay for it, Matt gotta Harvey. Pay for it, Matt. You have some Jefferson totals over there. Yeah. So yesterday there was. Uh, uh, 1,034 turnout, Democrats 344, Republicans 367, uh, Libertarians 10, Mountain Party 1, other 313, bringing the cumulative totals to Republicans 2,623, Democrats mm-hmm. 1,905, and uh, nonpartisan or non-registered uh, 10. How many locations are there for early voting in Jefferson County? There's one. Just the one. There's just the one, yeah. And and to put, to put that in perspective, I know those numbers are those numbers are are up or comparable to 2020 election as far as turnout. Very They're good. up over that. All right, Tony, 8 a.m. to 5 today and Friday 9 to 5 on Saturday, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay, talk to you later.